What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers The Center. This is episode number 10, which is going to be our final episode where we're going to attempt to escape the center of the Earth using our, not this vehicle, but the one that's above it. Uh, before we do that though, we have a couple of things we want to do to the vehicle to make it more fit for uh, our escape. But before we do that even, I'd like to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the base. Since it is the final episode, let's have a quick tour of everything we've accomplished so far. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of our bases, because we have two of them uh, now. It really goes to show what you can accomplish in just 10 episodes of a series. So um, now that that's out of the way, let's get started on our work. This episode, we're going to attempt to escape the uh, the center of the Earth using this ship up here. This may look a little bit different than it did last episode, by the way, because I changed how it looked uh, off camera just before the episode, because I wanted to make this a little bit more accessible. Let's turn on our light here. Um, we now have like a little platform we can walk around in uh, freely under this thing, which we didn't really before. So that's uh, that helps a little bit. Uh, and I also added this connection here, which is not yet built up, but it'll allow us to charge our batteries. So um, let's just start by welding these in. I'm going to right click these so I can get all the parts for them. And uh, and we're going to get these welded. So let's go over here, use our middle mouse button to try and grab a little bit of that and see if we can get some of these welded up. Looks like we need some computers for this. So we'll go back and get those in a second. But let's see if we can get some of these guys as well. Uh, yep, just computers for that. And that's done. Okay, that should be everything. So here's the bottom connector, and here is the top connector. So that should draw this to that. Awesome, and we should be able to just connect. Now, um, I'm just gonna go into this and switch lock uh, the easy way. Boop, there we go, it's now locked. So this should now start charging, because our battery up there was only on one out of four bars, and I wanna make sure that that is fully charged before we go. Um, I wanna like make this a little bit better. So let me go ahead and mine a little bit and I'm gonna expand this just a tiny bit so we have more room to walk and maybe I can add some lights here as well so we don't have to use our flashlight uh, for, <laughs> for the lighting. So let's go ahead and mine a tiny bit of this. All right, I've expanded the area and added just one light here and I think already it looks a little bit better. It's interesting by the way that I have a platform here which is above the platform that we intended to build this ship on. So we, we built a platform to build the ship, and then we built a platform above the platform to build the ship, which I don't know why we did that, but um, we did, so uh, that's how it's going to be, I guess. Um, but anyway, what we want to do, the reason we added this right here, this connector was to power up the, uh, the, the battery on this thing, but this uh, container here was to carry a couple of things. Like for instance, some replacement wheels and like replacement batteries and replacement seats would be really good, because if those things break, then we're kind of out of luck in, unless we have the ability to uh, to make more, or we have replacements. So we're gonna have some extras down here, uh, sort in that thing. We're gonna fill that thing up, but we have a couple of modifications we wanna make to the ship first. So um, the first thing I think we're gonna add is a couple of lights to this thing. I would like to add spotlights on the bottom and on the top. Now, uh, the top, we don't really have a way to get to, and I could make a way to get to there, but I don't know. I mean, I, I could like mine this and make like a ladder. I guess that wouldn't be that bad, would it? Okay, so I know where this thing's gonna be right here. I would really like a way to get up to the top. So what I think that we're gonna do is we're gonna mine into here and we're gonna build like a little ladder that's gonna go up and then connect out right there. So it'll make like a little hole up there, but it'll be just like a person sized hole. It shouldn't really cause any problems when we try to go, I think. Okay, let me refill my energy and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go and do that. Okay, so it's gonna be something kind of like this. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna mine a little bit and then we're just gonna start going up basically. Okay, how high are we gonna need to go? It's, we're gonna need to go like five ladders up, I think. So can I climb up here and will this actually put me here and let me, yeah, okay, that works. Okay, we have a pretty tall ladder going at this point. It helped a lot that we made like a little spiral staircase up the side <laughs> to help us mine. But let's see how long it takes us to get up the ladder. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. I don't know how high we are compared to the ship, but I guess we can... Like, we're, we're seven blocks up, I think. We can at least go look. We'll poke just a tiny hole in here. Hello? Oh, okay, we're way above it. Awesome. We actually just want a tiny hole like that. We don't want anything bigger. So something like that is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna jump down on this thing and uh, I'm gonna do some work on this. First, I wanna add a camera right about there. Uh, and we're gonna have to make sure our camera's oriented the same way on the bottom. So this side right here is gonna have the uh, the word camera. Uh, like, oops, nope, I don't wanna respawn. <laughs> like that. Okay, and then for lights, we're gonna add some spotlights here. And I'm gonna use the same ones we used last time, which were the offset spotlights. Uh, and I think I'm gonna add them to the edges right here. Maybe we'll add four on the top, I guess. So whoever's up there can really see us coming um, the entire way. Four spotlights going straight up. And I think that's all we want to add onto the top. Can I do these spotlights yet, or do I need those? Yeah, I need the bulletproof glass. Okay, that, that'll be fine. I'll go and get them in a second. I don't know if we have computers on us. Oh, we do. Okay, so the camera is built. The spotlights are built. Awesome. Okay, I need some bulletproof glass on me. Thank you very much. That should be enough. And in fact, while I have it here, I'll just do the bottom as well. So we want uh, a couple of spotlights down here too. And I think I might put them on here, maybe? That wouldn't be a bad spot, probably. As long as we have one on each side, it should uh, shine the right way. How long would it take to climb out of the center of the earth with a ladder? All right, spotlight's going up. And they're kind of pinkish, but whatever. Um, ooh, looking nice. Uh, is that wheel gonna have... No, okay, that wheel should not have problems because it rolls right about there. It should not have problems with that thing. If it does, we'll just put a block there and it should be fine. Actually, uh, with uh, since we're doing lights, let me come down here, and I want to uh, I want to add a couple lights on the inside. Can I actually get to this bit? There's a bit of the ship that's hard to get to, uh, and that's the center where you sit. <laughs> There's no real easy way to get there, uh, except for like flying up right here. So we have to use a little bit of jetpack every time we want to. But I'm gonna add some lights to this column, or maybe just to the bottom here. Might be a little easier because the column I can't put anything on this, unfortunately. Ooh, light panel. I don't think I've ever used light panels. I'm not gonna use them now, but uh, in one of the series I do, I'm gonna have to try. Ooh, this is actually perfect. Let's put lights up here. Okay, we've got our main lights here. You can, <laughs> it's so bright here now, but I did turn the intensity down. So uh, it shouldn't, it's, it's not as bright as it could be. But anyway, yeah, we now have a lot of lighting, adequate lighting, I would say. What do we need now? The connector is added. Uh, what I want to add, actually, I want to add an ore detector to this thing. Oh, wait, we need our bottom camera, don't we? We don't really have a good place to put it. But the other one, I think I had it on this side, so if I can put the camera here, that would be perfect. I don't know if I can. Oh, I can! It's, it's actually gonna let me. Put the camera there in that orientation. We need three computers. Okay, there's our computers, and now we have camera top and camera bottom, so I'm gonna have to go and uh, change those there. So it's looking like we've got most of the stuff we want here. We've got the cameras, we've got the connector, we've got the lights. Uh, we still need an ore detector and an antenna are two things I want to add. So let's go and get those. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove... Did we add lights to the bottom of these? No, we didn't. Okay. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to add uh, an ore detector right here. Actually, I'll put this one back because we're going to put the ore detector between these two. So, ore detector. We're just gonna need some detector components for this. Yoink. Missing one detector component? I think that can be arranged. Yes, okay. For a second I was like, can it be? <laughs> okay, here's gonna be our ore detector. We're gonna set this baby to maximum range and hopefully as we're going, we'll see some ores. And if this thing for some reason doesn't make it to the top, then we'll be able to use those ores for our benefit. Um, that's the only, so this is the final episode unless this craft cannot make it to the top. And if it cannot, then we might have to go a couple more episodes. Um, and if we find ores along the way, that would make that a lot easier. <laughs> um, okay. That actually looks pretty good, okay. Antenna, we just need four radio components. Uh, which we have a lot of, by the way, because of that one time that I accidentally made a bunch of radio components instead of uh, something else. I forget what I was trying to make. But I made like a billion radio components, basically. <laughs> um, I should probably deconstruct some of those, but it's okay. This is the final episode. It's fine. Um, this antenna, I'm going to add it to the ship. Alright, our antenna is up. We now have antenna, ore detector, lights, camera, 
action. <laughs> um, what else do we need? Anything? Okay, I think the last thing that we want to do then in that case is add the stuff we want uh, as extra here. So that's going to be extra wheels, extra seat, extra batteries, and that's pretty much it. We don't need extra ore detector or antenna. If those get destroyed, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, so let's go and grab that stuff. Uh, actually, we can probably do it straight from the ship. Um, yeah, let's go in here. So first and foremost, I want a bunch of steel plates on here. So let's just get a couple steel plates here as extra. Then I want to get the stuff that I really need. Oh, let's get a couple interior plates as well. Why not? I'll leave 100 for the base, just in case we come back. I don't know if we will. Uh, anything else I need? Let's get, I don't know, like 50 motors. And I'll get 10 bulletproof glass. Well, just in case we need to repair those lights. Oh, uh, wait, no, I need I need probably... Let's take 21, because I think they, they require three, right? No, they only require one. Okay, well, it's, it's fine. Okay, now I'm going to put my build plan or the things I want. So I want battery. Let's start with the battery. We're, we're going to get uh, two batteries worth, because battery is extremely important. So let's go ahead and grab... Uh, two of those. Okay, I've got two batteries worth of stuff in my inventory right now. We're gonna put it inside here. Uh, so that's good in case this thing crashes or something. If it crashes, I really hope this doesn't get destroyed. Okay, I think I have everything. Um, let me put this stuff in here. I disconnected this so I don't take things from here to put in here. That's, if that makes sense, because I'm using Build Planner to get most of this stuff, so I didn't want to uh, want it to try and pull from here. But we can just reconnect this with uh, switch lock here. There we go, it's reconnected. And the battery up there was fully charged when I saw it, so it should be still fully charged. Um, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, one last thing that some people said that I should put on here, but I don't think I'm going to, is the survival kit. Um, some people recommended that, and it's a pretty good idea. The only problem is we only have enough to build Energy one survival below. kit, whether it be the one on base or the one here. So uh, I'm not gonna add the survival kit to this thing. If we die somehow, we're gonna teleport back to base. <laughs> That's pretty much how it's gonna work. Um, so let's not die. <laughs> It'll be fine. If we die here, honestly though, having the survival kit wouldn't really help us. Uh, except it would let us make a mini base, I guess, as long as it can, didn't get destroyed. I don't know, I really wish we could build another survival kit, but alas, we cannot. It's gonna be fine though. We're just gonna go and hope for the best. Um, now before we do anything, I'm gonna take a snapshot of this base, so I'm gonna make a save here. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna post to the workshop, so if you wanna play this, uh, with this base as your starting point or something like that, or if you want to just explore it, uh, this will be on the workshop. Uh, I'll have a link in the description and I'll talk about that at the end of the video as well. So right here I'm going to make a little snapshot. I'll, I'll do a save as Space Engineer Center snapshot. And then I'll save as again, remove that just to make sure that's what it starts auto saving on and we should be good. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to go. On my inventory, I've got a couple of extra stuff just in case somehow I need them. Uh, I've got a couple of extra stuff in here as well, just in case. And then I think we're pretty much all good. Uh, it's I, it's probably gonna be fine. Let's get ready to go. Um, yeah, okay, I'm kind of nervous, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's fly up here. We're gonna have to configure our little hop bar in the seat a little bit. We have 20 hydrogen left. Um, remember starting the series with like 80 or something. Um, we hardly use any at all down here, but if we have to use some up there, it's going to take a lot more hydrogen, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, our hop bar is all configured. We've got camera bottom right there. You can't really see much except for that stairwell. Uh, we've got camera top right there, which shows the, the top. <laughs> we've got our um, uh, switch locks. We've got our batteries. I have our main battery on number 8 and our backup batteries on number 9, which are going to stay on recharge mode until uh, we need them. Then... What else do we have? Over here we have all of our lights, so we can turn these off individually, turn them back on, and we're ready to go, I think. So let's go ahead and turn off our lock here, and start going up. Maybe I have to press P, actually. There we go, yes, I did have to press P. Let's go ahead and switch to this. Okay, we're getting a little bit of, a little bit of nudging on something. I don't know what that is. Let me try and move my camera to see if I can, I don't know if I can get a good angle, uh, so I can see what that is, but... Hey, as long as it's not that bad, I guess uh, we can just keep going. I guess I can look up and see if I can see it. We were getting a little bit of clip, clip, clip. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But uh, we're pretty much going for the long run here. Maybe I'll stop a little bit up here and have a look. I don't know. Does it matter? As long as nothing breaks, it's fine. But if something breaks, I'm worried about that little block right there. Uh, I don't have, a, cross, I don't have a, a crosshair to show you guys. But I'm worried about that block that's holding onto the wheel. If those break... We're gonna lose some wheels, which is not gonna be great. But we are going at kind of a slow speed, honestly, but it's fine. Um, we'll get there. If we go at this speed, we'll get there eventually. 
Um, I don't know exactly how far it is to the center. I believe it's like, it's, it's between 40 kilometers and like 80 kilometers. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a long run here. Um, our p-gravity is 0 0.05, which is the p-gravity that you escape uh, Earth's orbit at. I'm a little bit worried about that plinking, but I don't know. There's not much we can really do. I guess what we could do is we could pause here, press P to lock everything, hop out, and just have a check to see if we have some damage going on. What I really need is I need like a, a way to get up a little bit to get some height. I just want to check on this to see if we're getting some damage on these blocks. It doesn't look like we are, but the, the fact that it's kind of like plinking against the side makes me a little worried that it might start to damage at some point. Okay, I can come over here and check these. Yeah, okay, so we are doing pretty well. I don't think these are actually clipping against the side. It's probably this. Yeah. Anyway, we really don't want to fall down this side. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We really don't want to fall down the side like that because um, as the p-gravity increases, it's going to take a lot more jetpack to stop us. So, uh, and I, of course, keep doing that, but it doesn't look like we really have that much space to fall down the side, so we should be good. Um, how far are we already? We're about, we're almost a kilometer from the mini base, so I guess let's keep going. Uh, I'd like to get on the other side, actually, if I can. Okay, let's stay on this side so that once we get off the uh, off the thing, we'll just plop right back into that spot. Let's press P and let's keep going. We'll use this camera. Okay, I'm definitely hearing some clipping that worries me a little bit. Let's pause again real quick. Just wanna check these again. And if these are fine, we'll just keep going, but I, I really don't want them to break off. Let's add this. We're gonna add one of these, a little brace. Uh, that, maybe we can't use this one actually. We're gonna add something like that, just like a little brace to the sides of all of these, so that if that block up top gets uh, nudged off, this one should still hold the wheel in place. So let's go through and add something like that for all of these. Okay, I made our ship a little bit darker as well, uh, because I thought it looked cooler. Now with those, we should be good to go again. Let's start going. I'll turn this on. And, uh, and we'll just keep going. Actually, wait, is it telling us? Oh, it's telling us our altitude, so that's about as far as we need to go. It's not actually 40 kilometers, it's 28. So I guess it was 30 kilometers to the center? Okay, that's good to know. Good intel. I'll turn that off so we don't have to watch it. I mean, it, it helps to see it, but we don't have to watch it the entire way. How fast are we going, actually? I think we're just going to keep around this speed. I don't really want to go much faster because I don't want to bump off anything. Oh my god, I'm hearing a lot of very scary sounds coming from the sides. A lot of bumping, a lot of nudging. <laughs> we haven't seen any ores, by the way, either. Uh, even though we have our ore detector on full blast. Okay, let's go ahead and pause here. I'm, I've heard a lot of bumps, I just want to do another check. Just for my own sanity. You're good. You're good. Yeah, even though we've had a lot of nudges, we haven't actually taken any damage. Although, that one right there has. There we go, that worries me a little bit that that one took a little bit of damage. But I think this would have held it even if that had broken. Okay, let's continue. At this point we're about, uh... We're a long way, I mean. It's very nudgy, <laughs> I don't like it. But I think what we're, we'll just, every thousand, every thousand meters we're just gonna check the, uh, the connections and make sure everything's still good, and then we'll continue. And we should stay around this speed and, and be fine, maybe. Hopefully. I just don't want to lose a wheel. Although we brought extras, so if we do lose a wheel, it's not the worst. Oh, we hit a little bit of snag. Some of this is not perfectly still. Oh shoot, we're actually stuck. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to my wheel's top and I'm going to lower their uh, strength to like six and see if that gets us through. It does not, okay. Let's park here, hop out and see what the damage is. I don't think there's any damage per se, but it's it's kind of stuck on these. Okay, our wheels are on this side. So what we could do is we could mine a little bit here and try and climb up the side just to see what is going on. I mean, that gives us a little bit of clearance on this side. Maybe that maybe that's all we need to do to fix it, actually. Let's see. 
yeah, that got us through that side. And we got through the bottom. Okay, cool. So we just need a little bit of clearance, and that worked. All right, let's continue. We just have to be a little wary of those. We actually did see that before it hit us. Um, so we can actually see them. All right, let's go ahead and pause and have our kilometerly checkup just to make sure everything's still good. Yep, looks like everything is still doing pretty well. Awesome. Okay, we'll continue. Now, I remember some of you guys wanted me to try and uh, and mine my way out of this thing. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, it's taking us a long time to go through a hole that is already made. Imagine trying to mine our way out. We would be able to, physically as possible. Well, actually, I don't even know if that is true. Um, because when you mine out enough voxels, sometimes you get a, a memory crash, and that's not really recoverable. You, like, your game starts crashing and it won't, it won't load anymore. <laughs> Because you've, uh, you've mined too many voxels and it has memory issues. Um, I've had that happen once on a Space Busters episode where I was doing a center of the earth thing. Pretty much I voxel handed a hole through the center of the earth. And then I went back through it and tried to voxel out some more area. And I got a memory issue. And it just, uh, the game wouldn't launch anymore. Or the game launched, but the, the map wouldn't load. Or the save wouldn't load. So you got to be a little careful when doing this. Which is why um, it's probably better that we're just going through the hole that's already made instead of making a new one. Because it is a lot of voxels, isn't it? It's quite far. Okay, we missed our uh, our, col our kilometerly uh, checkup. I think we're going to go for two kilometers now. We're feeling a little more confident. Oh, got a little bump right there. Let's go another 100 meters and I'll, I'll do the checkup. Okay, let's go ahead and stop everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, all my top wheels, I had lowered their strength. I'm going to increase those again to about 15, maybe. And then we'll do our checkup here. So how are you looking? Looking good? Feeling gorgeous? Okay, it looks like everything is doing well. All right, we, didn't, we don't really have to be worried, do we? You know, I'll tell you what we need is we need some sort of image stabilization because it's a very jittery ride. It'd be nice if our camera was, like, stabilized somehow. In fact, a gyro on this ship would be really good, I feel like. Um, but we can't build gyros because gyros require uh, metal grids, which require cobalt, and we haven't been able to find any. Although now we're getting to about a third of the uh, of the distance, so maybe we'll see some cobalt along the way. If we do, I don't know if we're going to go get some, because that, that's only really useful if we decide to go back to our base. Um, but, I mean, if this were a longer series, it's not going to be a longer one because there are other series I want to do and, and um, it, the, the idea has kind of uh, reached its limit. But if this were a longer series, we could always have this craft um, just go up to the top to get some stuff and then go back down to the center uh, with the materials. So we'd basically be making like a really, really long pilgrimage to go and get our, um, our, our ores that only spawn toward the top. But the thing is, once we get those ores, it turns, uh, the restriction's pretty much lifted. There's a lot less that you have to worry about. Uh, you don't have to worry about jetpack, because you'll have ice. You don't have to worry about um, uh, refining and assembling, because you'll have the stuff for the more expensive refinery and assembler. So once you kind of get ores and ice and stuff, the, the, all the limitations are not really that limited anymore. Hence miniseries. You know, we're kind of due for another hurdle, aren't we? Gone through most of this without a problem. We only had that one hurdle. Uh, Alright, let's get ready to pause to check everything out. I waited about three kilometers this time, so we're getting a little spicy. Let's go ahead and do a, a little audit on our parts, though, to make sure everything's still looking good. Uh, yep, things are still looking decent. That's awesome. That's what we like to see. Wheels are looking good. It's kind of hard to check the uh, suspensions, but I'm, I trust that they're doing okay. Alright, let's continue. Since everything's looking good, let's let's just keep going. Maybe we'll stop again at uh, 15 kilometers. So I wanted to like time lapse this. It would be really nice if I could. Only problem though is that it's so jittery that I don't think a time lapse would do very well. What I wish I had was like a side view that I could time lapse. That would be really cool. But I don't have like a, a second camera recording anything right now, so it wouldn't really be possible. If I could like swap to third person though, that would be cool. But that would only work if the hole was bigger. Like if there was actually space for a third person to, uh, a third person camera to go. 
As it stands, though, there is no space. So you're just going to have to ima imagine a very, very long uh, hole. And this thing is slowly climbing up it. We're about a third of the way, so you can, you can imagine how far it's climbed up and how slowly it's going up that hole. Even though we're going 15 meters per second, which is, I mean, not terribly fast, but it's speedy. Maybe I'll start going a little faster. I mean, what's the worst that'll happen? Andrew would later find out the worst that would happen as his ship crumbled and fell to the center of the earth below. Can I just say I'm really surprised we haven't found any ores yet? I don't know how deep the ores go in this game. Um, in fact, that's probably a good Space Busters episode to find out, but... Uh, but I'm still surprised. I thought they would go deeper. I would expect that the ores would go all the way to the center. That's what I thought at the, at the start of this episode, but that is clearly not true unless I just got really unlucky. Um, the ores must just be on the surface, and they must be, like, set to spawn a certain depth from the... from the thing. I don't know. I'm sure that's something some of you uh, map creators out there would uh, would know. Because I know people have, like, custom ore settings. And there's even a mod to make ore spawn at the center of the Earth, so... Uh, it's, it's clearly been done. The only reason I didn't use that mod is because... Uh, First of all, I figured out about it halfway through the series, um, but second of all, I wanted this to be a mostly vanilla series with just a couple of quality of life mods, uh, which I've kind of liked. Uh, if we had mods like the the gravel sifter mod, for instance, the um, ores at the center of the earth, we would have would have had a lot fewer restrictions, which I think would have made the series very different. Um, so if we did like a season two of this one, we might add some mod like that to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, but I'm glad we did this one with less mods and more restrictions. I'm happy with what we turned out with. I think we, I think, honestly, I think the base at the center of the earth we made was pretty impressive for the amount of time we made it in. I mean, 10 episodes to make a base. We made two mini bases, or we made one base and a mini base, connected them, made an elevator that goes through them, and made an, a craft that escapes the earth. Well, I don't know if it will escape, but it's on the way, it's on its way pretty much. We'll see if it actually does end up escaping. It might have some trouble as the gravity gets higher, but we're at almost about halfway gravity, so... Um, so far, it's doing pretty well. Were there any other things that you guys wanted to see in this series? Let me know in the comments below what, what you expected to see in this series, what you're happy that you did see, uh, things you liked, things you disliked. Let me know all the things. So if we do a season two, uh, things that we can maybe improve on or anything like that. In fact, if we do do a season two, what would you like to see in that season of... Space Engineer's Center of the Earth. Any changes? Uh, more of the same? <laughs> more elevators? Less elevators? <laughs> what would you like to see in a Season 2 of this? One thing we could also do is we could do like a progressive escape from the, the center. We could build a, a similar craft like this one, except we uh, we go like maybe 10 kilometers at a time and get closer and closer to the center of the Earth, or to the, the um, edge of the Earth. What's it? The surface of the Earth. <laughs> Um, we get closer and closer, but then we make like little mini bases along the way or something and see how that changes the uh, the gameplay. That's something we could do in a future series. Let me know if that sounds interesting to you. Other than that, we'll just keep casually trying to escape. In fact, what is our... Okay, we're at... We're farther than halfway at this point. Oh, we said we'd check at 15, didn't we? Okay, let's pause real quick and make sure everything is still looking good. I don't want things to break now. <laughs> so far, though, it's looking... Pretty good. We're not getting any damage there. So I wonder if that block that was damaged was one that we had just forgot to weld? I don't know. Maybe you guys saw it earlier in the episode and were like, Andrew, weld that block, it's gonna cause problems. <laughs> okay, let's let's continue. You know, one thing I'm noticing is it's harder to accelerate as we're getting closer to the surface. Uh, with this 0.55 gravity, we can't really get past 16 meters per second anymore. Where before we were getting to 17, 18 even. Ooh, is that the surface? I mean, we're still 14 kilometers out, but, like... Okay, for a second, it looked like that was the surface. We saw some light come in. Maybe the sun passed directly over and added light to the hole. <laughs> I don't know. 14 kilometers is kind of a bit far to be seeing light, but... Uh, but, yeah. It is up there. I don't know if it's going to be nighttime, daytime. I have no clue what we're going to see when we get up there. Well, I remember the intro to this series, so I kind of know what to expect, but... Okay, I can kind of just hold the button now since we can't really get over 14, 15 meters per second. 
Uh, is this going to cause problems as our, as our P-gravity increases? I do not know. Our speed might start slowing down, and it might even become impossible to go forward. If that happens, we're going to have to configure the bottom wheels. If you remember, the bottom wheels aren't really configured right now to, to be helping. They're just kind of uh, frictionless, so we have those to work with if, uh, if we need them. For a long time, by the way, I've been holding the W button. Oh, I saw some sun. I think it's going to be daytime when we get there, because I just saw the sun through a little crack in the world. A little dimension slip up. <laughs> Whatever that was. I think it's going to be daytime. Which is nice, because that means we should start seeing the sun at some point. The, uh, the light at the end of the hole. We're almost at 10 kilometers, which means we're almost at two-thirds of the way to the center of the Earth. To the <laughs> surface of the Earth. I'm so used to saying to the center of the Earth that uh, to the surface of the Earth sounds weird now. Okay, we're about two-thirds of the way. Let's have a quick pause then. Parking brake engaged. Let's check these out, see if we have any damage here. I don't think we do. Um, if we haven't had any damage thus far, I highly doubt we'll have damage now. But it's still better to check. Uh, just in case. We can jump now, by the way. Look at that. Check that out. <laughs> we can actually jump at almost normal gravity. That's kind of neat. You know, it's interesting. We've been trying to go to the surface this whole time, but what is there on the surface waiting for us? What is there up there that is so important? Everything we have is at the bottom of the <laughs> at the bottom of the earth. Even this even the craft we started in, the little ship that we started this series in uh, with a little intro, that's at the surface of the or at the center of the earth. Dang, now I'm trying to say the center of the earth and I keep saying the surface of the earth. <laughs> what is what is my life even? But yeah, what what is there for us at the surface? Can we see the sun, maybe? Can we see some mountains, perhaps? Can we feel the grass betwixt our gloves? <laughs> I don't know. We can breathe the fresh air. We can live in an area that's not an inferno, because the, the center of the Earth is actually an inferno. It sounds like I'm saying up, 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 up. But I'm saying bop, but it, it's fitting if I'm saying up. The keen eye of you might notice that our speed is starting to decrease. This worries me a little bit. <laughs> that we're getting slower and slower. We can't even get above 12 anymore. 12 meters per second. We're at like 11 to 12 meters per second. At 85% gravity. I don't know about this. Alright, 5 kilometers out. Almost. We're going to pause here again and take a look at our stuff just to make sure. Even though at this point I'm, I, I would be very surprised if anything was broken. But let's have a look. Just to make sure. Yep, everything looks in peak condition. I am surprised we haven't seen any ores yet, though, I will say. Because we are kind of getting close at this point. Although, when you think about it, ores spawn like 50 meters under the ground, 100 meters under the ground, not 4,000. So, maybe I'm not that surprised that we haven't seen any ores. Look at us at a snail space over here. 9 to 10 meters per second. It's getting a little tough, but we're almost at full gravity, so I don't see that we'll be slowing down that much more than this. 95%. We're getting there. <laughs> we're certainly getting there. Okay, just coming up on two kilometers out. Let's go ahead and pause here. Oh, that's not the right button. Pause here, 1987. <laughs> and let's check out, uh, let's check out these. Just one last check before we get to the surface of the Earth and find out what <laughs> awaits us on the surface. I truly do not know. I thought I knew, but now I'm looking- Ah! Oh my god. Okay, dampener's on. That's gonna use up a lot of our jetpack. Let's get back up here. Whoo! We cannot do that again! <laughs> oh my gosh, they used half of our jetpack just falling off right there. Okay, you know what? Maybe we don't need to check the rest of these. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. We now have an actual countdown up there. 1900. 1800s. <laughs> We're going back in time, everybody. 1700s, 1600s. I'm not gonna keep saying this for all of them. <laughs> or will I? 1500s, 1400s, 1300s, 1200s, 1100s, 1000s. All right, everybody, count it down with me. Here we go. Ten, nine. <laughs> You know, it'd be a lot easier if this countdown were faster, but nope, we're, we're slowing down a little bit. Nine, eight, still eight, 8.5, 8.4, 8.3. A little, little faster, maybe? Seven, 
We're actually going a little faster, actually, as we get toward the top. We got, got to about 12 meters per second. Six. Maybe I should wait to 6.5 to say six. So I'm not saying six and then sitting here for another, like, 10 seconds being like, all right, guys, it's still six. Uh, five. Can everybody say five? Everyone out there, hit us with a five. <laughs> Four. The countdown continues. How can I not see light yet? We're 400 meters away. <laughs> Three! Hit that one a little bit early. Come on. How do I not see light? Is it? Is it? It can't be nighttime. I saw the sun. Two. Two hundred meters. Oh, I see the light actually. You can just barely see it up there. Two hundred meters out. One hundred meter out. If we were gonna see ores, we would see them about now, but we still don't see them. Oddly. So I don't know. A hundred meters. 90, 80, 70, I can't see the number anymore, it's fine. We're gonna stop ourselves right at the top here, because I don't wanna... Actually, do I care? Uh, let's, let's go up here and stop ourselves right... We can't go that high, because our wheels aren't gonna take us that high, but we can stop ourselves right here, and we are, ladies and gentlemen, about one meter away from the center of the Earth. Um, how am I gonna do this? I think maybe let's do something like this. I've got to be very careful, because if I fall, it's like game over. Could do something like that. Can I jump to that? Yeah, okay. I jumped to that. Awesome. One meter away from the center, of the, or from the surface of the Earth. Let's get all the way up to the top, and we'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top of the Earth. We're in like a little valley, but welcome to the surface of the Earth, everybody. We did it. We made it back from the center all the way to the surface using this beautiful craft right here, which is now just barely peeking out, holding on to its brakes, because guess what? If those brakes fail, this thing is going all the way back down to the center like a missile, and it's going to strike our mini base, um, which would look kind of crazy. So maybe we'll do that or something. We'll attach a warhead to it and see what happens in a, uh, in a future episode or something. Um, or not a future episode, but a future video. But anyway, everybody, welcome to the surface of the Earth. We did it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this series because this is going to be the end of it. Um, we could do, again, I, like I said, while we were uh, launching to the surface, we could do a season two if you guys want to see a similar concept kind of done. Um, but let me know what you guys liked and what you guys disliked about this series, what you think could be improved, what you think we did uh, really well, uh, things like that. Put all your suggestions and stuff for future stuff down in the comments. Uh, hit the like button, dislike button if you didn't like it. And so everybody, I bid you one final farewell to the Space Engineers The Center mini-series. Oh, one final thing. If you want to check out this world for yourself, look in the description below. I should have pasted a, uh, a workshop link to this world before we launched this ship. So uh, if you want to try it yourself and kind of run around the world, it should be down there. Feel free to check it out. All right, everybody. I'll see you in the next series that we do. Have an awesome day. See ya.